going on today guys we're uh, going after some pigeons today we got a good little flock of them out here um, if anyone if you know anything about pigeons they fly all day long and touch down for about I don't know maybe five three four five minutes at a time um, but they're always moving they always stay moving so I'm gonna go out here and see if I can't uh, get a few of them there's some flying right there I don't know if you can see him or not. About to touch down. But, uh, yeah. So there's plenty of them out there. So you can probably see the pigeons right there. There's quite a few of them. Alright, guys, I literally have pigeons right in front of me. Um, here and there's probably five over there so I'm gonna walk down here a little bit and cut in and uh, they've been staying right close to me so see if I can get some shots on them I didn't think I was that far. I might have gotten one over there. I saw one go down. Alright guys, so I shot at some pigeons, which you probably saw, using seven and a half shot, that's what I got for sport loads. They, they sound like cap guns, they're very lightly loaded, but uh, I shot, dude, I shot one, and uh, he went probably a good hundred yards and then died. It's a nice one though. Nice pigeon. Nice dark one, actually. It's real pretty. There he is. Got him. That's a freaking cool one. Probably what I'm going to do is take him. Yeah, that's a real nice one looking one. Look at that little guy. We're going to do a pigeon catch and cook today, I do believe. He's way darker than all the other ones I've shot in. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna take this guy, put him out in the field, and then we're gonna hopefully wait for those other ones to come back. I should have gotten way more. I think, uh, this small shot probably should be running a full choke. Um, the loads are pretty light. I don't know what the heck. They sound like a cap gun. It's very weird. Of course, I'm used to hearing three and a halfs go off. But I'm going to try setting this pigeon right where they were feeding. And uh, hopefully, just hopefully, we'll get some more. Alright guys, we're back at the house here. Um, I ended up only getting this one pigeon, unfortunately. But uh, kill shot should be on camera, so that's a good thing. Um, look how dark this pigeon is, guys. Wicked, wicked dark. Pretty, pretty cool looking little bird. Um, and then beet red feet, which is kind of cool. Um, but I do have a uh, package of pigeon breast in the freezer as well. But I'm going to breast this guy up and cook him um, along with the rest of them. So, breast him out. You know, same thing as usual, guys. You've seen, if you've seen my catch and cook videos, you know. You, with the pigeons, actually their skin's pretty thin, so you can actually just go ahead and rip their skin usually with your uh, with your fingers, just so like if I can get it started. Just like that. So once you get it started, 
it gets pretty easy. Um, just like this. Definitely going to try some different loads when I go next because I should have had some more pigeons than just this one. Um, but, oh well, don't really matter. So just like this, you just pull the skin right down. Like so. And then once you get the breast exposed, just take your knife. And then just cut along that breastbone. Just like this. Make sure you get as much meat as you can. They're eating wicked good in the cornfield, in the cornfields right now, so they should be pretty good tasting. And there you go, just like that, you got your little pigeon breast. A lot of people make poppers out of these things, but I'm just going to cook it in a pan with uh, butter and probably some garlic and salt, and uh, tell you guys how they taste. I'm just going to pop the other one out here. There we go, breast number two, right there. Got your breast and your little tender. All right, guys. So now I'm just gonna take these and bring them inside, and wash them up, and uh, then we'll start cooking. All right, guys. So we got our uh, pigeon breast all right here. Um, I have, these are the two from today, and then the rest of them are all uh, pigeon breast I've had in the freezer. So we're gonna start off. We're just gonna season these guys. We're gonna have, to have a little bit of salt. Most of it will cook off in the uh, pan. Then a little bit of garlic powder. You can put it however much seasoning you like on them. I like a lot of garlic and a lot of onion. Now we're just going to hit it with a little bit of onion powder. Get our butter heating up in the pan. Alright, so there we go. Got our breast all seasoned up. So pigeon breast is pretty tender, so you really don't need to use um, like a fork or anything to poke holes in. You don't really need to tenderize it at all. It's just uh, a pretty tender meat. I've eaten it before, um, but we're going to try it again today and tell you what I think of it. Alright, so we've got our butter nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and start dropping these pigeon breast in. You probably used a little more butter than what I had to, but uh, I dropped them in. I'm going to cook them, cook them on a low heat. Um, and we'll see how they turn out, I guess. Alrighty, there we go. The uh, pan is full. So I don't know how long we're going to cook these things. Um, I, believe, I believe with pigeon you're good to eat it like medium or so. So that's what we'll probably do. Alright guys, these pigeon breasts are looking awesome. They do need a little bit of a flip though. Nice and crispy on the outside, that's looking good. Cook every one of these, and we'll give them another couple minutes. They've only been cooking for about two minutes so far. But uh, they're small, so they don't take a lot of time. I can already tell these pigeon breasts are going to be awesome. I can't wait to give them a try. They're looking freaking good right now. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I plan on doing some more pigeon hunting here soon. Hopefully we'll get into a good flock of them. Um, it sucks we only got one today, but at least I had uh, a lot more pigeon breasts in the freezer so I can at least do this catch and cook video for you guys. Um, been trying to make some videos lately, but uh, this hasn't been working out, so I'm glad I can at least put this one out for you. But this pigeon breast is done, I think, so let's uh, give it a try. Take three of them off the pan for right now. Slice them up. Those are nice and look hot looking. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, nice and tender. Slice up a couple more. I 
I do want to try uh, another way of making these, making those pigeon poppers. They sound awesome. I never had one, but I can imagine it'd be good. Let's get a little salt on those, and then we'll give them a shot. A little dust and a salt. All right. Look at that. That is looking good. That's looking good. All right, guys, let's give this pigeon a shot. Oh, wicked tender. Wicked tender. I think I cooked it maybe a touch too long, though. It's a little bit drier than the previous times I've had it, but that could be because it went through the freeze process. Alright. Um. Alright, how does it taste? I'd say it's probably most. I've never had Dove. We're not allowed to shoot them here in Vermont. Um, so I would put this. Taste wise, I'd say it tastes most like a duck. Uh, maybe like a wood duck, actually. The nice thing about pigeons is there's an abundance of them. There's no regulations, and you can shoot them like whenever you want. And uh, you know you can shoot them with shotguns, you can shoot them with pellet guns, whatever floats your boat, you know. And they have really good meat. But I'm not just gonna sit here and let you guys watch me eat all this pigeon. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video here. I hope you enjoyed the quick little hunt that we went on. Um, I'll try to get some more next time. Maybe try a different uh, shell load. Or maybe I'll try some uh, steel shot number four. Or, um, some lead shot number fours if I can find them. I don't think the seven and a half shot is a, a good pigeon load. Maybe it is if I was running a full choke. Maybe I'll just try a full choke and uh, see how that turns out. But for now, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Feel free to check out the playlist of all the other catch and cooks I've done. I've done a lot of things. And let me know what you want me to catch and cook next.